Hello dear students, welcome to Naresh IT, I am Hari Krishna. Today we will have a discussion on the topic called clocks and it will come under logical reasoning. So basically in clock chapter we are going to see the questions which are based on two patterns mostly. The first pattern is you are going to get a particular time for example if clock is showing a time as 12 o'clock 30 minutes then what would be the angle between minutes and, and hours and this is one type of question that means time is given for us time is given for us we have to find out the angle between minutes and, and hours and at that particular period of time similarly there is a other type of question which we can expect what is the other type of question is they will be giving an angle for you they will be asking you to find out the time that means the question might be given as from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock when the minutes and, and hours and will coincide with each other that means coincide is in nothing but both are going to be at the same location that means angle will be zero so they are asking from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock when the minutes and, and hours and will be together that's what the question is there are only two types of questions the basic pattern so the first pattern is you will be having a time we need to find out the angle the second pattern is angle will be given for us time we have to find out these two types of questions we can comfortably solve with a very simple formula but anyways we'll have a discussion on the questions of type 1 in this video that means when you have a question which is based on angle how to find out when we have a question which is based on time how to find out the angle is a thing which I am trying to discuss with you today on in this video. So in clock chapter whenever we have a question for example the question is given as at 12 o'clock 30 minutes what is the angle between minutes and hours and if the clock is showing a time as 12 o'clock 30 minutes if the clock is showing a time as 12 30. So if it is 12 30 pm what is the angle between minutes and, and hours and is a question. So and we have the option choices option A is given as 180 degrees option B is given as 165 degrees option C is given as 195 degrees option D is given as option D is given as both B and C option D is given as both B and C. So in order to answer for the answer choice or in order to answer for this for example here this is 12 o'clock 30 minutes. So as soon as you see 12 o'clock 30 minutes hour sand will be pointing towards 12 so it will be look like this. So this is a uh, time 12 o'clock 30 minutes hour sand will be this is 12 this is 3 this is 6 and this is 9. So when it is 12 o'clock 30 minutes so where will be hours and and where will be minutes and I am trying to observe. So if it is 12 o'clock 30 minutes hours and will be pointing towards pointing towards 12 hours and will be pointing towards 12 30 minutes means minutes and will be pointing towards 6 minutes and will be pointing towards 6. If it is 12 o'clock 30 minutes what is the angle between minutes and, and hours and is the question. So please do not think that because 12 o'clock 30 minutes it is at 12 it is at 6 it is looking like a straight line and marking the answer choice as 180 is absolutely wrong. Why 180 degrees is wrong just get a clarity you will get a complete clarity on the questions which are given under clock chapter. So if you observe it is 12 o'clock 30 minutes hours and is at 12 but minutes and is at 6. So at 12 o'clock both hours and, and minutes and will be pointing towards 12 only but when it is 12 o'clock 10 minutes 12 o'clock 10 minutes 12 o'clock 15 minutes 12 20 12 30 when your time is keep moving hours and will not stick at 12 at 1 o'clock hours and will be pointing towards 1 that means when your minutes and is moving like uh, 10 minutes and 15 minutes and 20 minutes hours and will also make some tilt towards 1 that is what the missing point here. So if you are able to see hour sand is pointing towards 12 and minute sand is pointing towards 6 that means it is already made half an hour of journey. So that is the reason hour sand will not be pointing towards uh, 12 it will be 
exactly going to be in the mid of 12 and 1. So, that we need to find out. So, going for that, you can use a very simple logic for proceeding for the question. So, whenever you have any question from the clocks, so just observe these two important points and solve the question comfortably. What is the points which I am expecting you to understand is basically if you look at clock, clock will be clock will be in a circular shape and how many hours we are going to see in the clock? In the clock you are going to see 12 hours, it will be 12, 3, 6 and 9. So in the clock we are going to have 12 hours and because the clock is in the circular shape, the angle inside the clock, the angle inside the clock will be 360 degrees. That means it was very clear that all the 12 hours together is making an angle of 360 degrees because of the circular shape. So, all the 12 hours together is making an angle of 12 hours together is making an angle of 360 degrees. If all the 12 hours together is making an angle of 360 degrees, then what is one hour angle I am trying to check out. So, all the 12 hours is making 360. So, 1 hour is going to make 30 degrees as a tilt and like that all 12 hours 12 into 30 will give a result as 360. The 1 hour is making 30 degrees that means 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock there is an angle of 30 degrees, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock there is an angle of 30 degrees that means this angle will be 30, this angle will be 30. Like that all the 12 hours together is going to make an angle of 360 and what is 1 hour basically in terms of minutes? 1 hour is nothing but 30 degrees, 1 hour we can comfortably write it as 60 minutes. So, 1 hour is nothing but 60 minutes, all the 60 minutes together is making 30 degrees as a tilt. If all the 60 minutes is making 30 degrees as a tilt, 1 minute will make 30 by 60, that is nothing but 1 minute will make half degree as a tilt. That means, it is very clear that 1 hour will make 30 degrees as a tilt and 1 minute will make half degree as a tilt. These are the only two points which I am expecting you to remember. So, if you remember these two points, proceeding for the solution of the questions will become easy. So, now moving backward or moving to the previous question, we are able to see that the time is 12.30, what is the angle between minutes and hours and is a question. So, if your clock is showing a time as 12.30, if your clock is showing a time as 12.30, that means it was very clear that my hours and will be pointing towards 12, hours and will be pointing towards 12 and minutes and will be pointing towards 6, hours and will be pointing towards 12, minutes and will be pointing towards 6, minutes and will be pointing towards 6. That means angle between these two is required now. So, what I am trying to observe is, first I am trying to observe what is the number of hours of gap is there from 12 to 6. So, if you observe 12 to 1, and 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. There is 6 hours of gap is there from 12 to 6. So, because of 6 hours, I very well know that 1 hour, 1 hour is making 30 degrees of a tilt. So, if it is 6 hours, 6 hours will make 6 into 30 degrees that is going to be 180 degrees as a tilt. But this is not my final answer choice. As I told you in the previous, Howard's hand will not stick at 12. It will make some tilt because of the number of minutes. For ex here, my question is 12 o'clock 30 minutes. That means I understood that my Howard's hand made a tilt for 30 minutes. My Howard's hand made a tilt for 30 minutes. I very well know that Howard's hand will make 30 degrees of a tilt in one hour. If it is making a tilt, for half an hour, it will definitely make 15 degrees of tilt. That means, this will make a tilt of 15 degrees from here. That means, because of this 30 minutes or you can use because of this 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 minute will make half degree as a tilt, 30 minutes will make 30 into half degree that will make 15 degrees as a tilt. If you subtract this 15 degrees from 180 degrees, you will be able to get an answer choice as 165. Why we are subtracting is because you are able to see that this is the angle which is coming inside. Actual angle you have taken it as 180. Subtract 15 degrees from 180, you will be able to get a result as 165. So, we can say the angle between minutes and an hour side is going to be 165. Or otherwise, some other student calculated the angle as like this. So, if you observe, I can also calculate the angle as like this. 
So, he is just asking what is the angle between minutes and hours and so from 6 to 12 there is an angle of 180 and there is an extra angle of 15 degrees. 180 plus 15 degrees that is giving a result as 195. So, I can also say that the angle between minutes and hours and will be 195. So, which is correct answer or which is the most possible option choice is always remember they will be giving the angle which is non-reflex angle that is mostly less than 180 degrees. So, give a priority for less than 180 but if you did not find that option choice definitely you can have a chance of using the logic of solving the question as like this because we are dealing with a circle. If you know one angle as 165 degrees the other angle you can easily get because angle inside the circle will be equal to 360. So, if you know one angle as going to be theta, the other angle is going to be 360 minus theta. If I know one angle as 165, the other angle is going to be 360 minus 165 that is going to be 195 degrees. That is how we can find out the angle between the minutes and hours and whatever the time which is given. Let us move on to one more question. For example, we have the clock as like this. So, you need to find out what is the angle between the minutes and hours and by when the clock is showing a time as 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 30 minutes. Clock is showing a time as 3 o'clock, 30 minutes. So, if it is 3 o'clock, 30 minutes. So, I am able to understand that the entire clock is having 12 hours. So, I am just making it as 12, 3, 6, 12, 3, 6, 9. So, he said that clock is showing a time as 3 o'clock 30 minutes. So, it was very clear that 3 o'clock 30 minutes means my hours hand will be pointing towards 3 and my minutes hand will be pointing towards 6 and it is not exactly at 3 because at 3 o'clock it will be at 3. When it is 3, 10, 3, 15, my hours hand will be keep moving towards 4, keep moving towards 4, keep that point in the mind. Do not mark the answer as 90 degrees directly by looking at this diagram. So, this is a virtual diagram which we are using. So, 3 o'clock 30 minutes means basically we are able to see there is an angle from 3 to 6. How many degrees of angle will be there from 3 to 6? To observe that I am trying to check out how many hours of gap is there. There is 3 to 4, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6. There is 3 hours of gap is there. I very well know that all the 12 hours is making 360. 1 hour will make 30 degrees. So, 3 hours will make 3 into 30 degrees that is nothing but 90 degrees. So, because of this 3 hours there will be a tilt of 3 into 30 degrees that is equal to 90 degrees of tilt and with that my question answer choice is not over. What we need to do is there is a tilt because of the minutes end. What is the tilt because of the minutes end? There is 30 minutes of tilt because of the minutes end. What is this 30 minutes of tilt? Every 1 minute, every 1 minute will make half degree of a tilt, half degree as a tilt. So, 30 minutes will make 30 into half degree that is nothing but 15 degrees of tilt. So, how this tilt will be? So, because it is 3 o'clock, the tilt will come like this. So, after 3 because it will be moved towards 4. So, this 15 degrees, I am subtracting it from 90 degrees. 90 minus 15, we can say our answer choice is going to be our answer choice is going to be 75 degrees. So, angle between the minutes and an hours end at 3 o'clock 30 minutes, 3 o'clock 30 minutes will be equal to 75. Like that, we can proceed for the solvation of the questions which are based on the type 1. What is the time, type 1? Time is given, angle we have to find out. Time is given, angle we have to find out. So, for solving this, just remember a very simple logic like 1 hour will make 30 degrees, 1 minute will make half degree. So, similarly, if you have any question as like this. So, for example, you have a question as 5 o'clock 10 minutes, 5 o'clock 10 minutes, what is the angle between minutes and hours and is a question. So, when you are solving 5 o'clock 10 minutes, just observe how the minutes and hours and is going to look like. So, 5 o'clock 10 minutes means my hours and will be pointing towards 5, minutes and will be pointing towards 2, minutes and will be pointing towards 2. So, now I have to find out what is the angle between them. So, in order to arrive for the answer choice, you can just observe 5 o'clock, let me give the virtual positioning, this is 12, this is 3, this is 6 and this is 9. So, we said 5 o'clock 10 minutes, 5 o'clock 10 minutes means I can definitely say that hour sand will be at 5, this is 1, this is 2. So, at 5 o'clock 10 minutes, hour sand will be at 5, hour sand will be at 5 and 10 minutes means minutes sand will be at 6, this is a scenario. So, 
5 o'clock 10 minutes, what is the angle between minutes and hours and we have to find out. So, to arrive for the answer choice, what you can do is just observe 5 to 10. So, how many hours of gap is there? 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. There is 3 hours of gap. 3 into 3 into 30 degrees is making an angle of 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees and 90 degrees is not direct answer because it won't be at 5. When time is moving on, this will make a tilt towards or towards outside. What is the tilt made by it? There is a 10 minutes of tilt. 1 minute will make half degree of tilt, half degree of tilt. So, 10 minutes will make 10 into half degree that is going to be 5 degrees of tilt. So, just add or subtract only the question in the previous we have subtracted. Do not think that always we have to subtract. So, we have to go with addition for some cases, subtraction for some cases. When we have to add, when we have to subtract, get a simple clarity. So, when you are moving from minutes hand to hours hand minutes and to hours and just add the numbers. So, m to h, I am using this trick, either we have to add or subtract. Why we are adding here? I am adding, adding here because whatever the tilt of 5 degrees is there, that is coming outside. Because the tilt of 5 degrees is coming outside, 90 plus 5, it is giving a result as 95 degrees. 90 plus 5, it is giving a result as 95 degrees. This is a tilt because of this 5 o'clock 10 minutes. So, in some cases I am adding, in some cases I am subtracting. To get a clarity on when we have to add and when we have to subtract, just remember a very simple trick. So, just to make your calculations faster, nothing more than that. So, once you are trying to take the hours and minutes and try to represent minutes and hours there. So, if it is you are going from M to H, if you are going from M to H, then just use a very simple trick M to H or otherwise you will be going from H to M. So, these are the only two possible cases. Here, I am going from M to H. After doing till here, everything is same for all the questions. Only the thing is, get a clarity when we have to add and subtract. If you are going from M to H, Mahendra Singh Dhoni helicopter shot is always a positive 6. So, if you are going from M to H, just use a very simple operation called plus. Very simple operation called plus. If you are going from H to M, obviously the other one minus. So, just use this type of logic to go for the answer choice faster. So, if you have any question based on this, you can use the simple logic of this to proceed for the solution of the question. For example, if I want to find out what is the angle between minutes and hours and when the time is 2 o'clock 25 minutes, 2 o'clock 25 minutes. So, I will directly take the diagram. So, 2 o'clock 25 minutes means I can able to see hours and will be at 2 hours and will be at 2 and minutes and will be. So, this is 12, 3, 6 and 9. So, I am trying to find out what is the angle between these two at 12 o'clock 25 minutes, 2 o'clock 25 minutes. So, 2 o'clock 25 minutes means it was very clear that, it was very clear that my hours and will be at 2, hours and will be at 2 and where will be the minutes and 25 minutes means minutes and will be pointing towards 5. So, this is a scenario pointing towards 5. So, you can get anything. So, here angle between these two is required. How many hours? There are 3 hours. 3 into 30 degrees. This is going to be 90 degrees. How many minutes of tilt is there? 25 minutes. 1 minute will make half degree of tilt. 25 minutes will make 25 into half. That is nothing but 12.5. So, 12.5. So, now to arrive for the answer choice, what is the clarity which I need to get is whether I have to add these numbers or subtract these numbers. Observe, this is 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock and this is 25 minutes. You are moving from H to M. When you are going from H to M, when you are going from H to M, you just subtract the values. So, that is what we have taken in the previous. M to H, M to H, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, helicopter shot, always positive. If you are going from M to H, add or otherwise subtract. So, subtract 12.5 degrees from 90 degrees. So, then you can able to arrive your answer choice. You can able to arrive your answer choice as. So, 76, 76, sorry, 77.5 is going to be your answer choice. So, that is how you can able to tackle the questions which are based on clocks. Let us move on to the slides. So, moving to the questions which are given under the clocks. So, just look at, I just collected some of the questions. I am sure that you can comfortably able to solve because of the points what we have mentioned earlier. So, let us look at the question number 1. So, question number 1 is given in such a way that currently the clock shows 8 o'clock. 
what angle will be the angle tracked by the hover sand when it shows 2 o'clock. That means basically he said that the hover sand is pointing towards 8. It is pointing towards 8. So, when it is pointing towards 2 or if it is showing 2, what is the angle made by this? This is a question. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. This is the angle which we need to rotate. So, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There is 6 hours of tilt. I very well know that 1 hour will make 30 degrees as a tilt. Because of this 6 hours, there will be 6 into 30 degrees, 180 degrees of tilt. Mark the answer choices, option B. Mark the answer choices, option B. Moving forward to the next question. What will be the angle made by the hour sand in 45 minutes? As we discussed in the previous, 12 hours, 360 degrees. 1 hour, 30 degrees. 1 minute, half degree. So, 45 minutes will make 45 into 45 into half degree. So, 45 into half is nothing but it is giving a result as 22 half degree. So, you can mark your answer choices option C. So, what is the angle between hours and and minutes and when the time is 4 o'clock 40 minutes. So, I very well know how to simplify this 4 o'clock 40 minutes. That means, hours and will be at 4, hours and will be at 4, minutes and will be at 8. So, hours and will be at 4. This is 12, 3, 6, 6 and 9. So, 4 o'clock 40 minutes means hours and will be pointing towards 4. This is hours and. Minutes and will be pointing towards 8. Minutes and will be pointing towards 8. So, we have to find out what is the angle between these two. So, 4 o'clock to 40 minutes. What is the total angle? 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8. There is 4 hours. 4 hours will make 4 into 30 degrees. That is nothing but 120 degrees of tilt will be there. But there is a tilt because of 40 minutes. I very well know that 1 minute will make half degree. 40 minutes will make 40 into half degree. That is nothing but 20 degrees of tilt. Just observe whether you are going from M to H or H to M. So, here we are going from hours hand, hours hand to the minutes hand. H to M. H to M, you can subtract the values. 120 minus 20, mark the answer choices 100. Mark the answer choices 100. Look at the next question. So, what is the angle measured by angle between these two when it is 5 o'clock 10 minutes? So, I can comfortably say that we already solved this 5 o'clock 10 minutes. You are going to get an angle as. So, this is 12, this is 12, this is 3, this is 6, this is, this is 9. So, 5 o'clock 10 minutes means hours and will be pointing towards 5. 10 minutes means minutes and will be pointing towards 2 minutes and will be pointing towards 2. So, just observe this is minutes and this is hour sand. Observe what is the number of hours gap 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. There is 3 hours of gap 3 into 30 degrees will be 90 degrees. There is 10 minutes of tilt. So, 1 minute will make half degree, 10 minutes will make 10 into half degree. Just observe whether you are going from M to H or H to M. So, you are moving from M to H, M to H, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, helicopter shot, always positive 6. Just add these two numbers. Mark the answer as 95 degrees, available as option A for us. So, remember how many times, how many times in a day, hands will be right angle together. So, remember in, in a day, this is a theoretical question basically. So, in a day, minutes and, and hours and minutes and, and hours and will be coincide with each other for 22 times coincide will e each other for 22 times not 24 times because 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock there will be no coincidence so 22 times they are going to be coincide with each other in a day so similarly if they are asking how many times they are going to straight line with each other so same answer choice straight line with each other they are going to be straight line with each other for 22 times and they are going to be perpendicular with each other for 44 times perpendicular with each other for 44 times how many times they are going to be right angle in a day so you can def definitely say that so for every hour it is 2 so 24 hours it need to be 48 but two, 3 to 3 to 4 it is going to be miss again uh, that if you take into the consideration you will get an answer choice as this remember this in a day 22 times minutes and hours and will coincide and 22 times minutes and an hours and will be straight line with each other. 44 times they are going to be perpendicular with each other. I hope you are able to get a clarity on the questions. So, just uh, for homework, whoever seen the video till the end, just solve these questions and keep it in the comments. So, if you are unable to solve, just make a comment. We'll just correct to your answer choice. So, I'm just giving three questions for the practice. Just solve the questions 
and put it in the comments. Question number one, if the time is 3 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 40 minutes, if the time is 3 o'clock, 40 minutes, what is the angle between minutes and an hour sign? Second question, if the time is 10 o'clock, 10 minutes, 10 o'clock, 10 minutes, what is the angle between minutes and an hour sign? And if the time is, if the time is 6 o'clock, 30 minutes, what is the angle between minutes and an hour sign? So all these questions and put it in the comments. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm.